Welcome to this beginner's guide. How to manage ads in WordPress using the AdRotate plugin. Most bloggers would like to make a little money from their blog, and most do so by placing banner ads strategically on their pages. Today, I'll show you how to install the WordPress AdRotate plugin, configure the plugin and create your very first ad. This video is from kingsolutions.org.uk where you will find WordPress and small business solutions for non-techies. If you enjoy the content in this video, then consider clicking on the subscribe button. Ok, let us begin. Managing your ads by hand. If you have been managing your ads by hand, then maybe it's time you started using some banner ad management software to maximize your earnings. Managing ads in WordPress using ad management software can give you a little more free time, more flexibility with your ad placement, and automate the whole process. If you already use advertising programs like Google AdSense, then you will know, such advertising programs require publishers to place a code snippet on their website for displaying ads. You can do this by either editing the code in your theme files or letting an ad management plugin manage ads in WordPress for you. Whether a seasoned blogger or newbie, inserting code directly into your theme file is not fun. For one, you risk breaking the code and causing unexpected WordPress errors. Plus, placing the code to display different ad sizes throughout your site is not easy. Using an ad management plugin on the other hand, should allow you to insert ads anywhere on your site with ease. If you manage ads in WordPress using an ad manager, you can easily place advertising banners pretty much anywhere on your site while managing almost everything from the easy to use dashboard. So no fussing with your theme source code unless you really want to. Let's take a look at how to manage ads in WordPress using the AdRotate plugin. Managing ads in WordPress with AdRotate. In the following tutorial, I will explain how to download and install AdRotate, and the basics of setting up an advertising campaign. I will also explain how ad groups work, and how to create them. You will also learn how to create ads and insert them into your posts and pages. We will accomplish these tasks using a demo site, hosted on localhost. We will place a group of standard 300 by 250 pixel banner ads in the sidebar. We will also place a 2 by 2 block group in the same sidebar. Inside the main content of the site, just after the first paragraph we will place a wide banner ad. To manage ads in WordPress, the first thing you need to do is download, install, and activate the AdRotate plugin. To download the AdRotate plugin, log into your WordPress dashboard and navigate to the plugins page. On the plugins page, type AdRotate in the search box and wait for the search to complete. This may take a few seconds. When the AdRotate banner manager shows, click the Install Now button to install the plugin. Once the plugin has finished installing, click the Activate button. This will bring you back to the plugins page. Click the AdRotate banner dismiss button when you are ready. If you now select the AdRotate link in the dashboard menu, you will be taken to the AdRotate general info page. This is a page with some general information about AdRotate and current events. When you have finished reading this page, take a quick look at the AdRotate Pro page. You never know, you might like to upgrade. When you have finished reading, it is time to create your groups. Click on the groups link to go to the group management page. Group management. What is an ad group? I like to think of an ad group as a placeholder for a group or set of related ads. The ad group or placeholder will be located on your WordPress page, in the sidebar for example, and each of the ads within this ad group will then be displayed in rotation. You can create as many ad groups as you wish. You can also place as many ads as you wish into each ad group. This is, by the way, a great way of doing A-B ad testing. Ad groups are very useful when it comes to displaying multiple ads, and offers many advantages over inserting individual ads. Grouping also allows you to easily sort your ads into different categories for easier management. Like most bloggers, you have probably joined multiple advertising networks, and other partner programs. You will also probably be displaying multiple ads, in multiple sizes. Groups are useful if you use multiple locations or pages for ads showing different categories, niches, or sizes of ads. Most people will set up a group for each location. Groups can hold one or many ads. If you put multiple ads in a group it will automatically show different ads on a regular basis. 
Groups serve multiple purposes and can operate in different modes depending on your needs. A group can be one of three modes. The default is one ad at a time. This requires a page refresh for a new ad to load. Next is dynamic, which also displays one ad at a time, but in this case a new ad is displayed after a specific number of seconds. The final mode is block. This shows a grid of multiple ads on your site. A group can operate in one mode at a time and can have as many ads as you need. Each group, depending on your settings, will rotate ads on a semi-random basis. The randomness can be modified with ad settings such as weight, geolocation, and schedules. To create a new group, select the Add Rotate Groups menu item. Click the Add New link on the Group Management page. This will bring you to the new group page. The first thing you need to do here, is enter a title for the ad group. This enables you to easily identify the ad group in your WordPress admin area. Next, choose a display mode. As stated earlier, you have three choices. The default, dynamic mode, and block mode. For this demo, I want the default, show one ad at a time. The dynamic and block mode settings are not relevant for our current selection, so we can ignore it for now. Take note of the usage section though. This is the information we will need to implement the block we just created. In this demo, I will be inserting this group as a widget, so that information is of particular relevance to us. Note that the reference for this group is ID4. The advance, post, and page injection sections are also not relevant to us at this time. I will cover them later. If you wanted to wrap your ads in any HTML or JavaScript code you could do that in the wrapper code section. For this demo it is not needed. In order to speed things up, for this demo, I have already created some ads to associate with this group. Simply select the ads required. You can also associate ads with a group as the ads are created. I will show you how to create ads in a moment. After implementing your required changes, do not forget to click the save group button. This will bring us back to the group management page, where our new group should be visible, along with statistics about the group. Before we continue on to creating ads, I am going to quickly show you how to insert the group of ads we just created into the sidebar of this demo site. Select the Appearance, Widget Menu Items. Then drag the Ad Rotate widget into the blog sidebar. Place it just below the search widget. Enter a title for the ad group. Select the ad display type. You can select an individual ad, or a group. We want to display a group. In the ID box enter the group number we noted earlier. 4. Then click the save button to implement the changes. Ok, let's take a look at what we have created. If we go to the demo site and refresh the page. The ad group will be activated and a random ad displayed. Each time we refresh the page another random ad will be displayed. Notice that once the group ad placeholder is located on your site, there is no need for you to manually modify ads on your posts and pages. The addition and removal of ads can all be done from the ad rotate backend. Next, let's take a look at creating the ads. From the dashboard, click on the ad rotate, adverts link. This will take you to the ad management page. On the ad management page, you can add, edit, and manage your ads. Also individual ad statistics can be seen here. On a new installation of the plugin, you will notice a couple of demo ads have already been provided. You can either delete, or ignore these ads. Your choice. As you can see, for the purposes of this demo, I have already created a few ads. Just ignore these for now. To create an ad, simply click on the Add New link. On the new advert page, provide a title for your ad. This will help you identify this ad inside the WordPress admin area. The easiest way of generating a new ad is to simply paste the code you would normally use on your site into the ad code content box. This would generally be the ad code generated by your advertising network. If you are running self-hosted ads, paste your own ad code here. Include all the tags you would normally use. Tags such as, width, height, title, alt, target, etc. For hosted ads, 
you can upload banner images as banner assets. Next, enable click tracking, and ensure the ad is active. The activate box should say, yes, this ad will be used. Click the save button to save the ad. Now select our new ad for editing. And scroll down a little to see a preview of the ad. If you can see the ad, click it to see if the link is working. If all is well, you should be taken to the target website. This is an easy way of testing the ad prior to going live on your website. Looking further down the ad rotate adverts page, you will see usage, scheduling, advanced and geo-targeting sections. Make sure the scheduled time is current, otherwise just ignore these sections. At the bottom of the page, are groups to associate with this ad. But we have not created a group for this ad yet. Let's do that now. Select the groups menu item. On the group management page, click the add new link. In the new group section, provide a name for the group. This will help you identify this group inside the WordPress admin area. Select the required mode. For this demo, I want the default, show one ad at a time. I want this particular ad group to be displayed inside the content of both posts and pages. I also want the ad to appear just after the first paragraph. This can be accomplished by stipulating post and page injection modes. So in the post, page, injection sections, I need to select, inside the content, and after first paragraph. With those selections made, next select the post and page categories for this ad group. For this demo, I'm just going for everything. If you require any special styles to be wrapped around your ads, you can accomplish this, by entering your code in the wrapper code section. Now that we have our group set up, we just need to associate the ads. This is accomplished in the select adverts section. Just select the ads to associate with this group. In this demo, we only have the one ad. Once the ads are selected, click the save group button. So, we now have a new ad group containing our ads. Let's see what it does. If we browse to the demo site and refresh the page, the ad should be displayed just below the first paragraph on the page. And there it is. Could that be any easier? Did you notice that the sidebar ad was also updated with the page refresh? For the next part of the demo, I am going to quickly run through block mode. I've noticed that a lot of bloggers like to display a little grid of ads. Maybe 2x2 or 2x3 in size. So let's quickly show how that can be accomplished. So as not to bore you, I've already created a group of 8 ads for this part of the demo. I've also already configured the ad group that will utilize these ads. Notice that the group name is block 125 2x2. Two two. And that the mode is, block mode, show a block of adverts. This will enable us to display a grid of ads. What size will the grid be? That is configured in the next section, dynamic and block mode. Set the number of rows and columns required for the block size, in this case 2x2. Two two. Next stipulate the size of each ad in pixels. For this to work properly, ads should be of the same size. In the usage section, make a note of the group number, in this case 1. In the post and page injection sections, select widget and the required categories. For the demo, I'm just going to drop this ad group in the sidebar. Scrolling down to the ads section, will enable you to see which ads have been selected for this group, and select more if you wish. Ok, let's drop this group into the blog sidebar. Select appearance, widgets, to get to the widget page. Drag the ad rotate widget to the sidebar. I'm going to drop it just below the search widget so we can see it easily. Enter a title in the title text box. In the type combo box, select group. Enter the ID number noted earlier, in the ID text box, 
one in this case. Click the save button to finish. Let's browse to the demo site and see what happens. Ok, let's refresh the page. And there's our 2 by 2 array of ads. And each time we refresh the page. A new set of ads is displayed. Well, I hope you liked this tutorial and found it helpful. If you did, then click on the like button below, and leave a comment. If you want to receive more helpful videos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and check out the King Solutions website for more useful information. See you soon, and thanks again for taking the time to view this video.